So Simon asks, what's your advice when buying a new Mac laptop? He says, I have speed and future proofing anxiety. Welcome to the club. We've got jackets. You're in good company here. He says, so I don't really know whether to double the base system RAM or double the base system uh, disk size, either of which effectively adds, you know, 400 bucks uh, to the base configuration. I've never seen reliable measurements of whether there's too little RAM or not. And he goes on to say normally he'd have like Safari messages, podcast, music, LastPass, FaceTime and Chrome running. Neither of the browsers would have more than five tabs loaded in a in a normal scenario. So general use is a, a fair way to categorize that. There's the advice that I give. And then there's what I do for myself in this regard, uh, because I know better. But like you, I, I suffer from the same uh, concerns about speed and future proofing. Everything we've seen says that for what you're doing, your use case, the minimum eight gigs of RAM is enough. And, and that's a, it has a lot to do with the way the Apple Silicon system on a chip works, where the SSD, the RAM and the CPU are all in the same like at the same level. Maybe that's the, the simplest way to say it. And so if you do need to page out past eight gigs of RAM, you've got the SSD right there. That's a, that's kind of like RAM because it's so fast and it, it, it works. However, all that being said and knowing that I can't bring myself to do it. And so I buy with at least 16 gigs of RAM in my Apple Silicon based laptops. As for the size of the SSD, I would say that 256 gigs is definitely not enough. Uh, and it comes with some speed hits in in these because it it's a it's a single module instead of a dual module, so it can't take advantage of I don't know I'm, 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 I've told you more than I know, but it does come with a speed hit that's probably negligible uh, in the grand scheme of things, but technically there is one. So, but but I think you know, and and this is a hard one, but I think five twelve again giving general advice five twelve is a good minimum place to start. It it has enough to get apps and data that most people use with some buffer room. If you want to have, you know, some or all of your music library on there or some or all of your photos library on there, it, like that 512 starts to give breathing room to people. And uh, so th 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 those are my thoughts. What are your thoughts, John? Um, so here's the bad news. I, I think my machine is approaching end of life because uh, when we were at the show, um, I would only get like maybe two, three hours on a charge and then I had to dash for a uh, an outlet. And this is your 16 inch Intel MacBook Pro, correct? Correct. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um but I do have you know, on both my machines I have 16 gigs of RAM and 1 terabyte SSD. Yeah, but I was looking in the refurb store and um I did find one that I think is a candidate and it had yeah, a lot of them had either 256 or 512. SSD, okay. which, which to okay. me is too small. I need more. I'm probably going to get 16 gigs of RAM, and uh, they had one that has two terabyte oh, yeah. SSD. Yeah. Which, uh, 